The video conferencing market could hit $5 billion by 2015 as companies look to cut back on business travel and improve productivity and communication. This according to data from Infonetics Research. As a leader in video conferencing equipment, Polycom could be well positioned to take advantage of that growth. Currently, the stock is up more than 25 percent year to date as Polycom works to expand beyond the conference phone and evolve in a new world of tablet computers and mobile devices. Andy Miller became CEO of Polycom last May and joins us now. Andy, welcome to Bloomberg to West. Thank so you. first of all, we Pleasure. use video conferencing every day to have our calls with New York and it massively improves the, the level of communication. Um, you were brought into the company last May. That's correct. What problems were you brought in to fix and what have you done to fix them? Well, I think the big issue in the industry has been that for uh, over a decade now, it was basically standard definition over antiquated bandwidth mediums. So what we have now is high bandwidth, almost TV-like quality, and you have the ability to use it on a pad, in a meeting room, or actually through the cloud. So the reason I was brought in and the reason the industry is expanding is all of these areas are coming together simultaneously. You worked at Cisco for a long time. Yes, They're a big competitor, yes, your biggest are. competitor. Yes, they are. What's it take to compete with a company like Cisco? Well, we've actually, uh, I think, found the secret sauce. In fact, in the first half of 2010, we gained two points of market share against Cisco. And we have three areas that are our focus. One is we're open standards based. Secondly, we are interoperable with existing platforms such as Microsoft and IBM. And third, we require between 38 and 50 percent less bandwidth than Cisco. So to a CIO or to a CEO, we are very appealing in terms of our technology and what we bring to the marketplace. That said, Polycom has been considered a technically proficient company for a long time, but Cisco has gotten most of the buzz. I mean, what are you doing to change that? Well, clearly they're a larger company, they have a larger marketing budget, but we've been very effective in terms of our messaging, very forward-leaning around the continu continuum of the market, as I said, mobility, cloud, enterprise, and small to medium business. So in terms of having these discussions around these three areas where we really are favored in the marketplace, I think it's come together in terms of people wanting to communicate visually, and that's what's uh, allowing us to be a leadership. What's the return on investment for your gear versus Cisco? Well, you, you, the total cost of ownership for a customer, 70% is in the network, and 30% is in the cost of the equipment. So from an ROI perspective, one is because we use less bandwidth, it's very attractive. And then people put in travel costs, they put in productivity, and it's just very appealing to a customer in terms of ROI. How much competition are you getting from Skype and FaceTime on the iPhone? Is that eating into your business at all? Well, it's actually great momentum for us because people that use Skype or FaceTime are all experiencing visual communications. Uh, from a competitive perspective, we definitely see Skype coming into the small to medium enterprise. We see Apple in the consumer mobility space. But I believe because of our open standards and interoperability, we'll play with both. And I think because we provide the continuum, we'll be favored in terms of the consumer and the business owner. And quickly, I want to talk about sure. how tablets could you know, revolutionize your business, essentially. What are you doing in the tablet market? Uh, quickly. So we've introduced two tablets, the Samsung Galaxy tablet and the Motorola Zoom. We've placed our software on the tablets, allowing customers to be able to go mobile to mobile, but more importantly, mobile back into the enterprise to be able to fulfill their dream of open communications in the continuum. All right. Andy Miller from Polycom, thank you so much for joining us. Glad thank to you. have that video conferencing equipment in our newsroom. Pleasure. Well,